What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. REG here. Now, before we get started, do me a solid like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Now, today, I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the new iPhone 13 Pro. Just got it. Literally just walked out of the Apple Store um, with it. And it was a whole ordeal. So, let me listen, I am starving. I got there at... 11 no, 11 see I got there at um 8 44 my check-in time was at 9 a.m little did I know everybody in a mama daddy cousin sister brother everybody in the family reunion was at the freaking mall trying to get the phone half of them was pre no the majority of them were people who pre-ordered and the a few of them were probably more than a few were people who were just going in to buy it but Listen, I was in that store literally, what time is it now? It's 11. I just got back to the house. I didn't leave the store until about 10.45. So I was there for all of two hours. Listen, I felt like I was standing in the line at Disneyland trying to get on a roller coaster, trying to get on freaking Space Mountain. Like that's what it felt like. The line was obnoxiously long. <sighs> I would never do that again. I thought by doing that, I would avoid any issues with like shipping companies like UPS because oh sorry get that straight y'all can't see me if y'all do that huh? okay is it my mic not the driving mic anyway but yeah I don't always trust like UPS or FedEx with um delivering certain things as such because they be knowing what it is and they be stealing so this year I was like you know what I'll just go pick it up thinking it was gonna be a smooth transaction let me tell you won't do it again. Won't do it again. I did not know people were still lining up around the corner, up the street, up the block to get um, iPhones when they first come out. I didn't know people were still doing that because for the last few years, I've had them shipped to me. So, yeah, please. I won't do it next year. I'm sorry, y'all. So, just give me, give me, give me like five minutes. I'm going to scarf these little egg bites now because, you know, I went to my little Starbucks, y'all know. Mm-hmm. I'm going to scarf these little egg bites down and then... We'll get into the unboxing. Five minutes. Just give, just bear with me. Okay. Oh. All right, John. I'm ready. Y'all wondering what I'm drinking on? I just got my simple nitro cold brew today. Nothing too crazy. Simple and sweet. All right, is y'all ready to get up in this G? <laughs> so y'all know, I was very determined not to upgrade. I got the, I had the 11 Pro. My phone was in immaculate condition because I take care of my phone. No scratches, no cracks, no need. And perfect. Look brand spanking it, right? I was like, I don't need a new iPhone because really they're not doing much with the upgrades or whatever right so i'm not tripping wasn't even checking for it i don't even know why i got on the apple app got on the apple app first thing that popped up was it was like a couple days last week first thing that popped up was this sky blue color they had me they had me they had me at the color blue is my favorite color baby blue is even more my favorite color so i was sold and then the cinematic shooting was like you know icing on the cake i was so i'm getting it and the fact that my trade-in ended up me only paying a hundred dollars okay i got the um iphone 13 pro with 256 gigabytes so i was like that's a win-win for me a hundred dollars i'll take it all right so let's get up in this and see what we talking about all right i'm excited i'm excited about it I'm like a little kid in the candy store. Make sure my hands is clean. Oops, I didn't open that one today. I like this uh, black box too. It's very nice. Okay. Uh -huh. So as you can tell, the box is a little bit thinner than usual. And again, 
I didn't get the iPhone 12. I got uh, the last one I had was the iPhone um, 11 Pro. That's what I traded in. So with that one, it came with the adapter. I don't think these ones come with adapters anymore. Um, but we about to find out what come in here. But the box is definitely thinner than what I'm used to getting with a new iPhone. But I love this. I love this. Like this alone, this box alone is just. Look at that. Look at that blue. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Inside it. Mm. I don't want things to fall out. Let me grab it by the little flappy flap. Whoa. It's a little weight to it. I don't know. If it, I think it is. I think my iPhone 11 Pro was 5.8 inches. And I think this is um, 6.1. So it's a little bit bigger than the 11 Pro for sure. Oh, is there something on here? Is that just the glass? That's just the glass. Look, it looks like there's some type of film over it. But it's just glass. It's just the glass. It's just the glass. It's very pretty. Very pretty, very pretty, I like that, I like that. And then on the front, you got, just telling you. I mean, if you've had one iPhone, you pretty much know what the buttons are, you know how to work it. So I'm assuming that that's just for people if this is your very first time buying an iPhone. You know, they went back to the square. I know they went back to the square on the iPhone 12, but again, the last phone I had was an iPhone um, 11 Pro, so it was still round. I really like the round, so I'm not a big fan of the square look, but maybe it'll grow on me. We shall see. All right, let's take the little thread. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay, it's just a, just a blank screen. Just a blank screen. Okay, before we turn it on, though, let's see what else is in the box. Okay, before we get that turned on, actually, I'll turn it on and then let it, so, side button. Hey, look. Hi. I can see myself in the screen, too. I know this thing, okay, because it was taking, <laughs> it was taking a while to come on. I was like, this thing better be charged. All right, I'm going to let that low. You know, it's going to say hello in like 50 million different languages. But until then, let's see what's in this box. Absolutely nothing is in this box. <laughs> you want to see what's in this box? Absolutely nothing. You got your little instructions for people who've never had an iPhone. I don't know about y'all, but I'll never look in there because what you really about to tell me. And just a charging cord. That's it. No adapter, no butt. So if you plan on upgrading your phone or for, you know, Whatever you decide, make sure you guys have an adapter. Can hold on to that um, because they're not, they're not giving, and you know what's crazy? They're not giving you new adapters with these, but then they have new cords that don't work with the old adapters. Look at this. Okay. So if you have an iPhone, if you have an iPhone 11 or anything below that, you're gonna have to get a new adapter. It does not come with the phone, but your adapters will not work with this because it's a different, As you, if you look at the back, if you look at, I was trying to see if I had an old one somewhere around, but if you look at your charging cord, it's different and it's not gonna fit in. Um, so these new ones are not gonna fit in the old ones, but you can still charge your phone with your old charger, but this cord specifically will not fit in any adapter that is, um, for the iPhone 11 or older. So get another one. Um, I have a butt already for, sorry, I call it a butt, but <laughs> I have an adapter already for because um, it came with my um, iPad Air fourth generation came with that. So I'm good in that area, but just to let other people know. So that was all in the box. Absolutely nothing in the box, all right. Hello. Oh. Ain't that pretty? 
Oh, they're spelling it out in different languages. That's cute, though. All right, let's look at this. All right. So now it's just setting it up. So give me a minute. I'm about to get this all set up. Um, mm -hmm. Oh. Ooh. And then, so. There. Because it said I can put my bring my iPhone. Because I already traded in my 11s. So I don't have it anymore. But it said that I can bring, put my iPad. See? You see? Y'all thought I was playing out here. I love blue. Okay? So, very pretty blues. Very pretty blues. Okay? This is iPad Air 4th generation. Love it. Like, honestly, if you're looking for a new iPhone. Oh, look. And it popped right up. Set up new iPhone. So that's what we're gonna do. And then it's gonna already log in to, so it's saying, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry. You're know, waiting for iPad. And then the iPad is saying, oh, it's saying I lost it. That's what it's saying. Whoops, sorry, try it again. <laughs> do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. All right, continue to unlock, uh-huh. I don't want that on there. But okay, so this is what the iPad says. It says, hold your new phone up to the camera. Boop, boop. That's me, y'all, I'm making those sound effects, okay. It may take a few minutes to activate your phone. And then this is finish on your new phone. So I'm gonna let that do. I'm gonna let it do what it do, baby. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. In the meantime, let me check out this new phone case. So I just ordered something cheap off of um, Amazon. You know, it had pretty good reviews and it was only $13. Oh shoot, I gotta set up um, my face ID. So one moment there. Not. Move iPhone a little lower. I'm doing that. It ain't doing nothing. Position your face in the frame. I did. <laughs> okay, there we go, y'all. First, complete. <clears throat> okay. Face ID is now all set to the up. So yeah, thirteen dollars on the Amazon had good reviews. It's really, for me, I'm just like I just need something to protect my phone. It don't gotta cost fifty dollars. It don't got to be straight from Apple because oh, this is interesting. What the freak is this? It says military grade protection. It might just be plain old plates to me, but really, really. 
I'll take it. All right, hello. No hello to you. Agree. Still setting up, y'all. I can't wait. Uh, I'm going to take it out this weekend and uh, test out the cinematic shooting and the camera on it. So I'll show you. I'll let you guys know, you know I'm saying, if this camera system is really worth upgrading your phone for. for. Yep. Make this your own tools. Everything you had on your other iPhone. Thank you. Yeah, see, it's nice. It's already uploading everything I had on my other phone. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Beautiful. Particle. Enjoy your new iPhone. Thank you. That's what the, that's what the iPad says. It says, enjoy your new iPhone. Thank you very much. Thank you for your service. So now everything is gravy, baby. I'm trying to figure out why. Keep your case clean. You didn't even give me no micros. You didn't give me no cloth. What is this? I don't even want that on there. I'm like, well, what? I gotta put some of these cards and I'm gonna open the chair. But I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm just gonna finish setting it up. I'm finish setting up. This is the beautiful iPhone 13 Pro. Um, yeah, so I'll let you know I'm tested out this weekend and I'm post a video letting you guys know if the camera system is all that it's hyped up to be and so forth and so on. So until then, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and press that subscribe button because you're going to want to know how good the camera works. So if you want to see that video, turn on your post notifications so you get alert when I post them and you know. Join our family, you know, join the channel, follow, subscribe, 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 like, share, comment, show us some love. All right. Until we meet again, be blessed. Peace.